Right. The uh, last week, what we have discussed is basically about the file handling. And uh, we just discussed about uh, the files and how to open a file, how to read a file. That part we just discussed in today's lesson. So we just need to learn about how can we uh, write into files, how to write into files, and also how to, uh, after writing, how can we read in the files likewise. So let's do a practical example. Okay. Mm. I would like to, I would like to prompt you a small question here. Mm. Let's see, you are given a task mm, to write a file because a file is actually a way of saving data, right? So one way is database. We will learn that in the in a future lesson. Mm, but this one, basically, that is the fundamental way of saving data. Because like, if we cannot save this, uh, what will happen? So we need to, um, if we couldn't save uh, the result, we need to enter from the beginning. From the beginning, we have to insert data. That is headache. Because same data, actually in the practical situation, same data, we cannot enter again and again. Practically, it is infeasible. Therefore, once you enter data, if you can save this somewhere, later you can use it. That is the idea of files. Right, okay, let's move into that part now. Mm. Writing and reading. Okay. So let's see, uh, you are given a task like this. Mm. Let's think like this. Okay, here. Input 10 marks of the students. So shall we write down this? Because this is some practical scenario. So you have to input 10 marks of the students for three subjects, Max English and IT, and then calculate the total average and also the um, yeah, total and average and mark of all the students. And then you need to save this into a file. So file name is also given, that is marks.csv. And the format is also given. So let's write the question and then discuss according to that. Can you write the question first? So I think you can write this part, right? The highlighted part. Please write it quickly. Tell me once you're done.
here's the thing so first of all you are given this this task to enter marks of 10 students right that means whatever happened here should be repeat 10 times so we already learned repetition in repetition what we do basically we can repeat a certain task again and again that is repetition so let's start with that then i'll give some time to think and do this i'll do this for one and let's do this for 10 records after that so let me take a new file file new okay, first of all i'm doing this for one thing only right only for one record then what you need to do you need to do this for 10 records right so let me implement and show you the first step so anyway you are going to open a file so you can say file f equal file open this file you are going to open is open for what is the file name it is uh, marks.csv csv and the purpose is writing mm, that you can give after this writing is the purpose the file is marks.csv and writing is the process then first of all let me write f dot write will write into the file so let me write the set of headings that is already given in the question these are the set of headings student name match english it total and average that you need to write into the file so you can just write it inside the quotation student name match english it total and the average and so let's close the file for the moment F dot close close the file for the movement so let's save this i'm going to save this as uh, okay some name.py and run the file when you run this file so you can see nothing is there but the thing is please note the location of the file so i have saved my file in users dasunilanjana documents users dasunilanjana documents and there is the folder actually in my documents folder so let me go to the document folder and see i'm browsing into the document folder okay see here so there is a file called marks.csv that is the file that we have just created the advantage of csv file is that you can open the csv file either using a notepad or text file text editor and it will looks like this okay once open it will looks like this same thing that we have wrote is there in the file with the commas the advantage is so this understand this very carefully you can open this using any note editor any text editor At the same time you can open the file in a spreadsheet application let's pause it i need to save you can open this using spreadsheet applications such as excel numbers calc so let's open using excel can you see this mm, okay let it open still opening Okay, see this, this comma separated values, this comma separated values are now in cells. Can you see? This comma separated values are now in cells. You cannot see any comma, but we have given like with the commas, we have given the values, student name, comma, maths comma, English comma, IT comma, total comma, average. That is how we have given. But when you're opening, it's opening as the that is opening with into the cells that is the advantage of using this csv csv it is dual purpose either you can open in excel or any spreadsheet application the second thing is you can open using a text editor too if you want to go to a new line you have to say n here backslash n that will go to the new line 
in the new line i would like to write the values but you know before writing these values you need to obtain the values now how can we obtain the value we can get that as an input so let me for an example let's give like this name equal input i'll give one thing the remaining you can try by yourself as an exercise okay as an input i'll give enter your name enter your name the name that the particular person input i can write that to the file using the write command simply i can write that name to the file let's take one more thing just to give you better understanding let's say max marks is equal to integer because you have to take a number integer input now i have actually explained you 70 percent of the coding enter max marks enter max marks that i can write after f dot write name after that i can add that uh, add another thing that is a comma after that i would like to add uh, the string version of str that is the string version of maths th yes string version of maths math likewise you can keep adding the other things i'll stop from here because i need uh, you to try this so let me run the file and show you the result first let's run this so what will happen when you run this file enter your name i'm entering my name thus soon enter maths mark i'm entering the maths marks press enter that is what it's asking for the moment let me open the csv file now again you see in excel can you see so it has student name the soon and the maths mark 90 that is the magic but if you open this using a comma separated version or text editor you can see only the comma separated values like this see this okay you can see the comma separated values only new line has moved this does only 90 to the next line but the values will be there with the commas advantage is you can open this using excel too okay i hope you got an idea but i just need not only the mass mark i need the english marks it marks total marks and average marks so i think now you can work into this shall we start doing this i'll give you five minutes just give a try so what do you need to do you need to input the marks of it marks and then calculate the total no need to input this but you have to calculate calculate the total by adding the maths english and science it marks sorry then find the average by dividing it in uh, by three and then input all these points into the file okay let's do that now you have five minutes to five okay mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. attribute error in objects and no attribute right so please go uh, to the code. Mm. Average is okay. STR average, everything is okay. STR mass. F dot close, you need to like uh, close. You can't close it uh, in the loop. After all these things, you have to close. Now run it. Let's see whether there anything trouble in this okay now uh, you're getting the error uh, str maps f right name int object has no attribute right f dot right name so let's go to that line 
line 25. Maths. Maths, you are taking int input. Enter the maths mark, English mark, science mark. That part is correct. Finding the total average, that is also correct. F is the file name. Okay. You are writing the name. Name is name. Name is the name that you have taken. Class, comma, class, str, maths. Str maths. Then write comma, English comma. Okay, seems correct. Mm, so error you are getting is let's read it read the error again f dot write name attribute error int object has no attribute right name name is it in no it is correct comma is also correct str maths you are taking maths maths mark okay that is perfectly okay then you are taking right in this str and adding that to f dot right name anything wrong in the previous line it english maths yeah, was correct. Only one. ah you are writing f in range that is a, a dangerous error understood uh, here f yes. is uh, the same name as the file name you have to use some yes. other letter k o some other letter that is a very dangerous error right yes correct it very quickly oh uh, yeah Done? Yeah. Now I think you can run. You can run this and get the get the results. Yeah. Run it and see. Yeah. It's repeatedly asked your name. Yes. You can you have to enter there. Another name. Another. So the, you have written four data, right? Okay. Oh uh, yeah. So it's quicker. Okay, check the file now. Check the file now. Yeah. The problem here is after writing a line, you have to go to the next line, right? After writing the average, the new line should be added. Otherwise, what will happen? Just keep on writing. Uh, so that is the problem. The okay. So let's add a new line. After the average, after the average, you can put a plus sign uh, okay. after the yeah. average no 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 the last before the close in line before the close in line uh. after the average after the average you need to add a new line right because after uh, you can say f dot right f dot right a new line backslash in within quotation you can say backslash in within the quotation backs oh that is forward slash backslash n uh, plus the quotation okay now it's done so right uh, now run it again and see enter the data and see It's okay, right? Ah, uh, yes, it works. Okay, right. great. That is done. That is how the writing applies. Now you can put ten. Yes, you can put ten, and that will work. Correct.
okay you can write the question uh, next question find the maximum and minimum marks obtained by the students by reading this now you have written into the file now keep the file as it is or you can take a duplicate of that and, and read that file and find the maximum and minimum mark obtained by the students so shall we do this now you have to do this by obtaining actually read in the file so write the question first then try to answer the question i'll give you again 5 minutes going to enter a limited number of i'm going to enter a limited number of records not actually uh, five here so let me copy and paste this the match mark also you have to obtain few more marks that is basically uh, so what is the second english thing? english and then uh, after that the it marks enter english marks enter it marks and then you need to write just uh, after that english marks and then the it marks mm. okay you are done with that then you need to find the total and the average uh, let's say total equal this uh, maths plus english plus ever uh, plus it marks then what you need to do is you need to write down this sorry write the total marks and uh, repeat the same process to write the average marks mm. avg is basically the average you can say avg is equal to total uh, divide by tray you need to then write the average here it's average marks and after that a new line should be there let's add a new line there slash n for the new line i'm done with that actually what i need to repeat is i need to repeat this process including the name for 10 times okay sorry repeat this for 10 times for j in range say 10 let's for the moment let's write three only three just to show the demonstrate what will happen then i'm running this the first time it's asking me okay so type in some marks let's enter some and then hmm. done let's move and open the file it's in the document marks.csv let's open the file with excel okay you can see all the marks are clearly inserted with the total and the average now what you need to do you have to find the maximum and the minimum you can see the maximum is custom smart minimum is custom smart so how can we obtain that with the readers you have to read this in order to read this now the writing code you have already done that no therefore just forget about the writing code write a new one for reading purpose right let's copy this if you want but this time a new one so forget about the writing one write a new file uh, open the file for write, read in this time uh, read in this time and you can just uh, ignore the first line so i'm just in f dot uh, read line read line because the first line is anyway uh, you know the first line is headings first line is heading lines then forget about it. so just read in the heading line after that i'm reading the next three lines there are three lines no you can say there are three lines just uh, let's read this mm, let's print the line print if you print j you are printing the lines so let's run this file now i'll give a tip then as a homework you can try this i'll check this next day right okay you can see zero one two zero one two that is j but if i print the lines f dot read line okay so that will read the three lines can you see 
you are reading three lines. If you need the marks only from that, you have to obtain the marks part. So if you, without reading the line, if you read the lines, you know it will be written to, after that, if I read lines, it will be written to a list. Say m equal f dot read lines, then everything will be read to this list. Then you can just print this uh, for j in range. You can say length of m, length of m, you can print uh, m the j item. That is another way of reading lines, but this time you are reading as a list. You can see still you are reading, but you are reading as a list. You can call this because everything is a list. You can just call. Okay, you need uh, read lines. Everything will be there as a list. Mm, just print uh, J in range. Okay, let's try to see zero item. This list. Okay, you can see it's printing D, K, and G. That is, uh, 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 it's written for J in range length of M. You are printing MJ. Uh, so what has happened? Let me print this for straight lines. I'm printing this, uh, printing this. Print this to M. Let's see that, right? First of all, so what will happen? Okay, you have the lists. Doesn't matter, you have the list item, but you have only three records. Then if you print uh, uh, M list, J item, the first item, second item, third item, likewise, you can get three lines. But what you need to do, you have to split that back. Let's split that. So when you split this, you will be printing this again, split using the comma, right? You have to say split using the comma. Let's say, let's run this. And again, now you are getting, oh, what is that? Split, split, sorry, my spelling mistake. Call it, run it, and you can see, now again, you are getting set of lists, right? You are getting set of items as list. This you don't need. Read lines, you don't need to print. You need the three lists after that. Just take a screenshot of this. You can get some idea from this code. Then what you need to do? You need to compare the total marks and find the maximum and the minimum. That I'll keep to you. Just take a screenshot of this. Just try to obtain the maximum and the minimum after that. Okay. Hello. Uh, yes. Okay. Do you understand up to this part or if anything unclear, please tell me, right? I'm just, uh, reading. Okay. I'm just reading, getting all the lines and these lines I'm splitting that into list individual items. I'm splitting that into individual items separating by a comma. Okay. That will generate yeah. three lists from this three list. Now what I need to do, I need to extract the item and compare with the other items and find the maximum and the minimum. You okay. have some work to do. Right? Just just try, give a try. Doesn't matter whether you okay. find the answer or not, but just give a try. Okay. Right. Okay. Then I'll stop from here. Have a nice day. Bye. Bye.